morning, sis. It's your girl Chloe Yasmin back in the cut with another video. Yes, ma'am. I'm looking mighty crazy because your girl just woke up. Matter of fact, no, I'm not gonna say that. Girl, I'm looking beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Yes, beautifully and wonderfully made by the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Good morning, girl. My face is so dry. I know y'all can like tell the difference with my talking a little bit because I can really open up my mouth. Y'all know I, I be talking, so I got my lashes done. Yes, ma'am. Went and got them done yesterday. If you watch my recent video, you know why I'm excited to get them done. But girl, I went to get my dang lashes done, and with the products that my dermatologist um, has given me my face is super sensitive and soft because it has like a lot of exfoliating agencies I don't know I don't <laughs> so my face is so sensitive and so I didn't know that when she put the tape on my skin it was gonna rip my dang skin off halfway so my eyelids were so raw yesterday like it ripped the skin off my eyelids and then the tweezers when she went to take the tape off it like cut my face three different cuts somehow I got to like some skin took off my nose from the tape as well not her fault at all we always use tape and we always use tweezers my face right now girl with these products i'm so hot i'm just a rambling but i'm gonna tell y'all straight up today is gonna be a ramble day because i'm so tired and i really don't have a plan for today but i woke up with the worst anxiety in life so that only tells me that these demons are trying to get me first thing in the morning to miss out on a beautiful day when they are attacking you the hardest there's something in whatever they're attacking you to not do and to not get to there's something in there that they don't want you to have i'm drinking a red bull this morning y'all because i usually drink coffee y'all know i always drink coffee but I don't know about y'all, when I throw up, if I ever throw anything up, I'm never going to want to eat it or drink it again. So I threw up my coffee, and my coffee tasted like the creamer. Um, and the reason why I threw it up is because I'm taking an antibiotic right now. Um, it's so hot in here, my face is getting so red. I'm taking an antibiotic right now for my acne. And antibiotics make your stomach sick, unless you have food on your stomach. So... When I tell y'all I threw up so much the other day, it was so gross. Like, oh my gosh. So I don't really like that coffee right now. The coffee creamer, the coffee taste of any. I don't, I don't want nothing to do with it. So I really need to be on the lookout for a good creamer. It's just that I've tried so many creamers and I'm so picky with my creamers. Like, I'm so picky with my creamers. And I had just switched my creamers because I had threw up two weeks ago or so with the other caramel macchiato creamer from brushing my teeth and my gag reflexes i don't know y'all it's just been a lot going on so i'm gonna stay positive though but i'm gonna be more open now because you know when you turn on the camera it's so easy to try to like act like everything's okay and everything's so perfect but then you have real human beings watching you and that go through daily things as well that probably think they crazy and they're the only ones going through things and we all are going through girl i woke up with the worst anxiety christians have anxiety too we just got to make sure that we are Taking care of it and nipping it, in the, nipping it in the bud. Okay, girl. But yeah, I woke up this morning. My house is a little bit of a mess, so I need to go ahead and clean up. And then I'm going to grab my family. Um, it's, it's just not really good to stay isolated in the house for too long. And we have been with the weather. We've just been, like, staying in the house a lot and not really doing anything. Doing anything. We've been, like, little hermits. So, girl, I'm going to go get them today. We're going to figure out what the heck we're going to do. Probably not much because where we live is so lame. One day we're going to move up out of this mother trucker and we're going to be happy. I mean, we're happy right now, but where we live is so lame. Like, there's nothing to do. Honestly, where we live is just like a bunch of drunks and drug addicts and club and pop, club pop and I don't know. There's like no family fun here. Let me show y'all my crib because I'm about to go ahead and clean it, y'all. That's what I'm about to go ahead and work on. Let me turn the light on, y'all. I'm a little sad because I really miss my candles. Like I have candles up here, you guys. I really miss my candles. I ended up burning the last of that other candle that was halfway gone. I just haven't been burning these because this suit, y'all, I've been seeing it all over my house. It was in my vent. My vent was, um, or my filter was jet black when the guy came out to fix my heat because my, my heat had went out. And then I told you guys in my hygiene room, there was like soot all over my products. There was soot on my cabinets. And so I know that's in my lungs, but there's nothing like candles. Like candles make my home smell so good. So my mama has plugins. Y'all know I use the Glade plugins, but my mama has like these Febreze earplugs and they're so much stronger. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace all my plugins today with those. But yeah, this is what my kitchen is looking like. Yes, ma'am, it's looking a little bit crazy. I think this is like the most dishes I've ever had in my life. Like they're just piled in there. Like, oh my gosh. I'm currently washing my comforter. Yes, ma'am. This is nothing. Y'all know it's not, it's kind of like impossible to get dirty. I have my little LED light things right here that I always plug in because they look so cute. It's so cute though. All my nieces and nephews love it. It's so cute. And then I have like a random bag of clothes over here. So I'm trying to make more space for my mom at her house. So I'm trying to clear out my old room. So I went in there, got rid of some clothes, took some clothes with me. So this this just needs to go in like my little vanity slash office room. And I need to go ahead and organize my shoes a little bit. But yeah, I'm working on getting that room done, y'all. It is a mess. It's like a whole nother a whole nother life over there. And then in here.
here y'all look at this dang room mm, 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 mm. y'all know i like dim lights i don't like super bright lights um when my maintenance man came in my dang crib one time to fix uh my bathtub because it was clogged he was like um are those are those working or did those go out on you i'm like no i did that on purpose i do not like super bright lights i like dim calming lights i like the zen look yes ma'am but i also oh i forgot about this hold on hold on hold on because y'all i went to target the other day because underneath my sink in my kitchen is bothering me so bad because it's just so cluttered and annoying and i can never get to all my products correctly or not correctly but i just cannot get to them how i want to so i went to target the other day and i bought these two bins it probably wasn't the best idea to get bins with cloth when you're organizing like cleaning products and stuff like that but i also got some of these just in case um i still need more space i got some cute little kitchen towels yes ma'am i'm trying to do home improvements okay finally and then i got this super cute little thing i have one in there um that hangs my robes and like my towels and stuff like that but my expensive north face coats they just be laying on the floor in my closet and my closet is disgusting so i'm gonna go ahead and put this in like my office and hang up all my new north face coats that i bought this year that i've been investing in yes ma'am so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get some organization done i'm gonna feel so good when i get that done i just need to go ahead and make my dang bed clean up all of this crazy random junk i need to go ahead and straighten up my bathroom the shower is clean the floors are clean it's just kind of like the sink the little counter sink cabinet sink sink cabinet that is a mess okay so it's really not cleaning it's kind of just like straightening up because nothing is really nasty it's just messy okay so we're just gonna go ahead and get some straightening up done when i get done with that i'm gonna go ahead and organize underneath this sink because look at this y'all i mean this is like so embarrassing like this is so terrible i cannot believe i even let it get to this point but let's go ahead and clean this dang house i mean apartment y'all i'm so sorry am i the only person that calls their apartment a house because i grew up in a house my whole entire life yes ma'am that low income housing yes ma'am came in clutch thank you jesus okay but girl i grew up in a house my whole entire life so going into apartments was just like an adjustment and i'm just not used to saying apartment but i'm gonna have a house soon in jesus name
looking mighty clean and mighty good. It is nothing like cleaning your home before you leave because you know when you come back, your home is gonna be mad nice and pretty and smelling good, okay? But I have the um, carpet powder on the carpet right now and I'm just waiting for that to sit in for a little bit longer because I want that strong scent to actually be strong even when I vacuum it up. I got everything all organized and clean. Everything is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back when I get the stuff vacuumed. But while I'm waiting for the carpet powder to go ahead and sit, I'm gonna go ahead and get this sink all organized. Let me go ahead and put these towels up right now. I am so excited because I love the gray vibe. These are so cute, oh my gosh. It just makes me wanna do more and more to my home because of how cute this stuff always comes together. And y'all know I'm a sucker for gray and white. Gray, silver, white, those type of colors. Y'all know your girl is a sucker for. These are so cute, oh my gosh. Target always gets your girl right. So those are super cute. Those match perfectly with that gray. That is adorable. And now we're gonna go ahead and move on to underneath this sink, which is kind of bothering me right now. I'm kind of getting anxiety just opening up this dang little cabinet. Oh my gosh. It's all right, we're gonna get it done. We're gonna feel real good after we get done getting it done. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I had this spray. I have the wax melts in this scent and I was like, man, I wish I had like a spray so I can make my house smell extra like this scent. This Unstoppables Febreze Air Fresh or whatever. It smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on my couch today. But what I need to go ahead and do is make my old solution. Um, if you're like a long time subscriber and you've been watching me for a while, like for real a while, then you know that back in the day I used to make that little solution where I would put fabric softener and water into a bottle and I would spray it on my bed and my curtains everywhere that was like cloth obviously except for like the bedding that my face goes on but yeah that used to be my junk y'all and it's cheap it lasts a good amount of time I need to go ahead and get back on that but I'm so glad that I found this anyway let me go ahead and get this junk organized I'm not gonna talk no more because I'm getting a little uh tired y'all I'm getting to the end of this day and cleaning junk y'all I am exhausted but it ain't nothing like a clean home a clean room wherever your little area is wherever you live in it I don't care if you're living in a box if that junk is clean it makes you feel 10 times better. And for the sensitive people, I didn't mean that too literally. I was just joking. It's just like an example. Okay, so this just really annoyed me. So I definitely should have looked under here before I went and bought those little containers or whatever because these are not gonna fit underneath here. They're so tall. Obviously, it's not gonna go right there. And then if it went right here, there's not gonna be that much space in between this and then the basket. So I won't really have access to my products. So I gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna use these for. I mean, they go with the theme of my home. So they will be used for something. I'm just a little bit upset because I'm not gonna be able to use them underneath my sink, which I really wanted to. So now I need to figure out another game plan with how I'm gonna go ahead and organize these products. I mean, obviously, I have these, but just, it would just be so annoying just to put like a bunch of these in there and organize it that way. But I guess I don't really have a choice. I also have that little container in there. So I guess I don't really have a game plan. I'm just gonna figure it out as I go. a whole bottle of bleach because it just kept spilling like there was something wrong with the actual spray bottle so I just went ahead and dumped it all out but it was getting everywhere and then there was like dirt and stuff in there so I need to go ahead and sweep all of this up but anyway it is looking absolutely amazing no those other containers did not work out but I mean yeah those didn't work out but this did end up working out it's actually super nice and super organized I like it and I am very proud of myself you guys because I woke up with no motivation honestly having the worst anxiety like I told you guys and I'm just trying to remain peaceful you guys 
guys. This is like my favorite part right here, you guys. All my little Swiffer jet pads or whatever all organized. And I have all my brand new sponges back there. That's also another one of my favorite parts. And my little washcloths and my trash bags. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, I just got done putting my comforter in the dryer. Yeah, I need to go ahead and also wash all these underwear. Let me go ahead and do this right now. Ladies, make sure that you are washing your brand new underwear. I don't care if they're brand new. You never know where they have been. Wash them. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've never had like a bad experience when I was younger. I'm um, just throwing them right on. But, girl, now that I think about it, I don't know why I was doing that. All right, so I got the tags all taken off of all of the underwear. Look at this suit, you guys. Like, that's so ugly and annoying. Like, what the heck? But anyway, yeah, make sure you guys are washing your new underwear. Okay, I'm about to go ahead and wash it up with some dress. Please don't tell me I'm the only one that gets these from Victoria's Secret and then I never use them. I always forget to use them. I never use them, like, literally. And find them in your purse, like, a month after they've already expired or a day after they expired or the day that they do expire. That junk is so annoying. I swear to gosh. Off of camera, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum up this room, get it all together, put all my stuff back, get ready, and I'm gonna holla at y'all in a minute. I already got my super cute lounge outfit picked out. It's gonna be super simple. I got these cute like little sweatpants from Pink, and then I have this cute big old sweater, oversized sweater from H&M, a Calvin Klein bra. I need to go ahead and buy more bras somewhere because I'm running so low on my bras. I don't know where the heck all my bras went, but girl, it is a dang mess. But anyway, yes ma'am, clean, looking good, about to vacuum, get everything looking even more sophisticated. I'm just joking. <laughs> see y'all in a minute all right so i am showered and ready to go all fresh and clean feeling so comfortable you guys my outfit is so comfortable i love being comfortable i'm about to go ahead and put on these big old uggs that i bought you guys already know now the only reason why i'm calling them big old uggs is because now that i have these i want the mid ones like the ones that come right here i want those ones because these do not go with every single outfit these are way too long when it comes down to certain outfits like they just look super weird with certain outfits and i want to be able to wear uggs with all my outfits so i'm gonna go to the mall today i'm not really sure if i'm gonna be able to record in journeys because i mean i've had like some weird experiences but i'm definitely gonna see if they have the mid ones i'm really hoping that they do and that they're not sold out and and then on top of that, I believe my skin is going to start the purging process from these dang products, which is always expected. Dermatologists will tell you your skin is going to get worse before it gets better. And I believe it has something to do with like this cell turnover rate or whatever, or whatever. I don't really know. But the product that I'm using exfoliates, so it's making my skin purge. So I do have like a new little pimple over here. It's not too big. And then I like how the products actually make my um, pimples shrink faster. So you got to go even though you're a little bit of proof that we might be working with something. Okay, but anyway, I'm just trying to stay positive because one pimple can irritate me. I'm telling y'all for real, since I have struggled, struggled with acne for so long, seeing a new pimple, like each and every time I see a new pimple, it kind of discourages me. And so I was just kind of sitting here like, am I gonna let this really discourage me? And y'all might be like, girl, it's one pimple. But since I've struggled with like a lot of pimple and like excessive acne, this one pimple is annoying me but then obviously your skin has to get worse before it gets better when using products like i'm using but my fragrance of the day is going to be replica bubble bath and i'm gonna go ahead and mix it with alien goddess by terry mugler this is like a creamy vanilla and this is like a very bubbly effervescent crispy kind of smell it's super pretty i love it but i can't really explain it because it's not a very explainable fragrance because it's not a very common scent at all but every single time i wear this i get like a what are you wearing kind of question because it's not your common fragrance but my room is looking amazing yes ma'am my bathroom is getting a little bit messy right now because i got all types of stuff i use one spoolie for my eyebrows and one spoolie for my lashes let me do my spray down yes ma'am got to smell good and like i told you guys um in a couple of my videos i don't really spray my skin anymore because i do have acne prone skin and i'm just like girl why are you spraying your skin you're literally setting yourself up for, fa for failure like and it was drying out my neck because i like to scrub my neck a lot and then when i go in with perfume on top of that it would burn and it would dry out my neck and so my neck was so chapped my mom had to go get me this certain cream for my neck because it was so chapped but girl i'm gonna stay positive even though i have this little pimple i'm not gonna let it ruin my day because girl i'm still beautiful let's go Yes, ma'am. So I decided to go ahead and last minute take my family to like a little restaurant that I like. So I'm about to go ahead and eat. I have some um, biscuits and gravy over here. I haven't had biscuits and gravy in so long. And then I have a hash brown, sausage, bacon, and then some eggs. Yes, ma'am. And then after this, we're going to head to Target. But I'm about to go ahead and smack this down right quick. That's a huge burrito over there, buddy. Yeah, look, at little, um, look at his little Adidas McDonald's fit that I got him in Miami. It's a reversible it's outfit. Reversible. Yeah, that's cool, though. It's so cool. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm about to smack. We just got done eating. I am full, feeling good. It's crazy how like half the time I don't even know that I'm hungry. Whoa. Calm down back there. You ain't no. Sit down. What? So. <laughs> 
so anyway, y'all, we just got done eating, feeling good. Yes, make ya. Yeah, feeling um, real good. So we do have a little bit of a game plan. So one of my friends from church, he doesn't have to work today. So we're going to all go bowling with my family and my oldest brother. Yes, ma'am. So you guys get to meet one of my little church friends. Okay. Y'all already know I told y'all many times. I kick it with dudes better than I kick it with females. So you, you, so you guys are going to meet one of my church friends. Yes, sir. Today in bowling. And I hate when the light turns uh, yellow right at like the last moment. I feel like I'm doing something wrong by passing it. But hey, we're gonna go to Target right now. And I'm going to Target specifically. I need to get a toaster and some bread so that I can take my antibiotics in the morning time without throwing up. And then I need to get those Febreze plugins you have in your house. Oh yes. I need to stack up on those because my mom has, well, is Baby, it let one? me tell you, let me tell you. Now I went to the store and bought some more yesterday. Oh shoot. Let me tell you. You didn't tell me that. Because it's Ember. They got one called Ember and it what? smells so good. I hope they have it over here. So Let's I went on my phone and ordered some. Picked them up and got the other one they had there too. You did a pickup order? Yep. No, you For didn't. For the first time. <laughs> no, you <laughs> didn't. Yeah, my baby said. <laughs> yeah. Mom. There's no way you did a pickup order. Mama did that, girl. I didn't know you were capable of doing something yeah, like that. Yeah, honey, I'm getting computer savvy, honey. Oh, like, wow. I'm savvy. proud of you. I've only hey. done like one pickup order before, and I had anxiety doing it. And I was 17, and they're like, can we see your ID? And it was in my mom's name. They're like, next time you need to bring your mom in here. I, I remember her. that. She and I was like, my ID. Huh? No, it was for Target. It was it was it was nail polish remover. Uh, um and it was nail polish and I remember yeah, that. I remember yeah that day. Oh my gosh. In Target, like this one time it was like this older lady and I had bought a bunch of stuff and she, I was using my car. She's like, let me see your ID, blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, my card isn't my mom's name. I've never been ID'd ever in Target before. It was so weird. And then I had like a couple people saying, the reason why she had to girl, I'm not listening to none of that none of that. Because ever since I went to Target, I have still not been ID'd. I was ID'd that one time. I go to this Target all the time. I think they hired her and fired her because I've only seen her one time yeah. and that was the one time that she ID'd me and I had to call my mom and my mom had to show her ID for the card that I had. It was, oh my gosh. Demons be working overtime. You don't I never, know. You don't never know what you're going to run into when exactly. you go out. Exactly. And right. I'm just, I was just like, I'm going to stay calm. Amen. I, I ain't got time for this. For I know you're trying to be a little petty right now. For real. But... Here you go. I can call my mama anyway. Yeah. No, 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 no. Anyway, so yeah, so yeah, we're gonna hit the target right now, and then I wanna head over to Journeys, and I wanna grab a pair of Uggs, and then we're gonna meet up with my boy, go bowling, and don't even go there. Yeah, he's a nice, he's nice. Don't even yeah. go there, y'all. Mama approved. Problem. Don't even go there. It's nothing like that. Mama approved. So I, yeah. I'll be looking in them comments, y'all. I'll be looking. Oh. In. Oh. You're done. You are done. <laughs> Let's go on the dang tour, Jay. Y'all, we just got to Target, yes ma'am, and we pulled up and I was like, Lord, please let us get a good parking spot. Why did we get the first parking spot? The first, you The very first. One. Okay, Number one. Number one. Number one. So the Lord is in the working place. Amen. I told y'all, I think, I thank the Lord for every little thing. Amen. Whether it's a parking spot, a good hair day. That's right. Uh, skin might be looking at you a little good that day. Hey. I thank the Lord, because all good things come from the Lord. That's right. Okay. Amen. What did that song say? Everything that happened to me yeah, that was, was good. good. God did it. Hey, hey. Yes, Amen. he did. Hey, we was coming out of the struggle, praising and worshiping Amen. to that song. Sure was. Let's go. I have arrived and I'm about to go ahead and stock up. These are a little bit more pricey, but I think they last longer and obviously they're way stronger. Mm -hmm. So where are the actual plug at plugs? Okay, they're right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Brent, go ahead and grab five of those. Five? Yeah, go ahead and grab One, five two, of those. Matter of fact, grab six of them. Right, yeah, go ahead and grab uh -oh. six of those. I'm replacing all Get of them. Down. If I cannot I, use candles, I'm serious. If I cannot use candles, then best believe I'm stocking up on these. Okay, so then two comes in a pack. So go ahead and grab three of those, and they're nine ninety nine. I love the downy smell, the uh, April fresh downy smell. Now they got the three pack. Oh, they, they do. They don't have a downy. So. Yeah, that's okay. I want the downy, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the downy, and I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, they have my favorite. Ocean. Fresh. No, fresh. Fresh. I was just telling them this morning because I have the spray and I also have the wax melts. This is one of my favorite fragrances in the whole entire world. So the next time I go ahead, no. <sighs> this is a hard one. I'm not even going to hold you. This is a definitely a hard one because I love this scent. I love, 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 Let's love this smell scent. smell it. And it'll let oh, you no, know. Oh, no. I know what it is. I have the wax melts going on my house oh, right yeah, now. Smell it again and it'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> you're doing too much. I'm going to go ahead and grab two of them because I am I know I'm going to want to restock with these. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these. They smell good. I'm going to go ahead and double it all up. I mean, triple it all up. I'm going to grab the wax melts and then I'm also going to grab this fabric April Fresh refresher for my couch. So I can go ahead and refresh my couch and have the whole house smell like it. Yes, ma'am. Even if they have like the actual regular spray. Let's see. Boom. 
and we're good we got the whole setup y'all we about to be smelling like april fresh it ain't nothing like having a home that smells really good okay last but not least in this little section i'm gonna go ahead and grab these from my car remind me when i get in my car to actually put these in immediately i'm gonna go ahead and grab this little small spaces thing this is what i used in the summertime to keep my car smelling good but i don't think i've ever had these um unstoppable fresh like click things to put in your actual vent so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that gotta have a good smelling car and a good smelling home yes ma'am oh what what you over there doing she's posing okay <laughs> you're done let's see what else i need so i got the febreze plug-ins i need razor refills yes ma'am because the other day my dang legs were like raw because i didn't like uh change out my razor head and then i changed it out and realized that i don't have many left so here go ahead i'm sorry <laughs> so yeah when i changed it out i realized that i didn't have many left so i need to go ahead and grab a box of refills today yes ma'am because if you don't refill your junk then your shave will not be smooth and then it can also make your legs um what is this it can make your legs pretty like raw like that raw burning feeling oh my gosh i cannot stand when i forget to change out my dang razor let me go ahead and grab the refills right now so i don't forget 19.99 man they be taxing for these jones right here i said what they got a new razor y'all radiant skin oh my gosh this looks super cool i'm gonna go ahead and have to try that out when i have the time to read about it and actually figure out like what i want it for <laughs> and not just because it's a razor i got the plugins the razor refills i need to get bread toaster bobby pins laundry products and rebel i did pass the laundry products so y'all know i'm obsessed with the downy intense right here you guys know that i am so obsessed with this spring rush downy intense it smells so good and it's so strong but i've really been missing the snuggle scent so i'm gonna go ahead and grab some snuggle because i haven't used snuggle in a while and i love snuggle and i'm running low on all of my laundry products so i'm gonna go ahead and grab two bottles of that and then one bottle again because i always tell you guys i don't go through as much um detergent as i do with fabric softener i'm gonna grab the spring daydream there we go gain to me is like the strongest detergent that i've ever found so i just keep going with gain there's one left just for you perfect <laughs> all right so i got a hamilton toaster yes ma'am and then all my little plugins and stuff we're getting our home together yes ma'am i was up getting stuff organized today and clean gotta be responsible as you are thank you they be they scamming like some of these bobby pants you are just said they scamming yeah, yeah they some are. bobby pants are, are wimpy are wimpy and limpy yeah and, and bendable but no, i think no, they feel a little wimpy these do too. feel a little wimpy you know what i'm saying i don't know maybe i, I should just making them like that now. let's see these these are actually good. Oh, these are them heavy duty Johns right here. Them right there are high quality. Yeah, it's got a coating over it. Yeah, and they're like mad black. These do match my hair a little bit better. Oops. Yeah, these do. These match my hair, but I like how heavy duty and like sturdy those are for sure. You these? Yeah, them are gonna be it. I've been needing bobby pins like crazy, and then I lose them. Yes. Yeah. All the time. And then when I'm sweeping, I find them. Yeah. But I'm just like. And you like throw them away. Like, yeah, I'm just like throw them away. Yeah, exactly. Throw them away. I thought I was the only one. Oh my gosh, that's so true. <laughs> You like forget it. You are crazy. Oh my goodness. Then you start looking one and you're like, I should have threw that one away. Exactly. <laughs> you're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> you're a little too relat relatable right now. Sorry. I can't even talk. Ooh, you think these are oh ah. Oh, careful. That just shocked me. Whoa, whoa, oh my goodness. I didn't know they had vanilla Activia probiotic dailies. I've tried the blueberry ones and like the strawberry ones. No, I'm gonna try these because I haven't tried them yet. I actually forgot to write down paper towel, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some paper towel. I, am I the only person that goes through paper towel like nothing? I use it to clean, yeah. to dry my face. I use paper towel for everything. Every single time I wash my hands and I wash my hands like crazy nowadays, it's like a part of my dang life routine because I don't know what happened along the years, but I feel so, my hands feel so gross when i haven't washed them every single time i come back in from the house i'll like flip out if i haven't washed my hands that's why something happened with somebody's unit behind my unit and so they shut off my water so when i got home i didn't know that they shut off my water and i couldn't even wash my hands and i was low-key tweaking inside <laughs> i was like yeah. tweaking all right i picked up three boxes of this red bull yes ma'am i'm not really happy that i'm back on it but hey i'm doing what i have to do okay i'm doing what i have to do and then i just grabbed some bread now all i need to do is shoot over to the mall really quickly grab my uggs and then we're gonna go bowling and then i don't really know what else but we have a game plan all right i'm back home i just walked in the door i got my uggs yes ma'am i wonder if i should change i'm really comfortable but i know i might get hot during bowling and the only thing i didn't really bring inside was the fabric softener and detergents i'm gonna have my friend bring that in when he gets here we're all gonna meet up here and take off together except for my oldest brother is gonna meet us at the bowling alley and y'all i'm gonna say this right now don't start the whole i ship them you guys should be together all 
Don't do it. But these are my new Uggs. Yes, ma'am. I wanted these so bad. These mid ones. Oh my gosh. These are exactly what I wanted. And I had to go to Journey's Kids. Thank you, Lord, that I can fit kid sizes. I am so excited. Now I have all the Uggs that I need. I might go ahead and repurchase the low ones that I have because they are a little bit dingy. But they're still really cute. I wear these all the dang time. They're still really cute. Those are my low ones. I, now I have the mid ones and I have the high ones. Yes, ma'am. I need to go ahead and put all of this junk away. I have to show you guys my new nails that I have. I cannot wait to go ahead and show you guys and I have a new nail shop that I'm obsessed with I'll tell you what though carpet powder is such strong smelling I only use the carpet powder in my room and my whole entire home right now smells like that carpet powder that I use I'm telling y'all I'm telling y'all carpet powder is the junk have to have it especially if you have pets um or if the people that were living in your unit before you have pets oh excuse me carpet powder is the bomb.com got my toaster yes ma'am I'm so responsible. If I'm being completely honest, I need to go ahead and let these plug-ins die out before I go ahead and replace them all. But you guys will be seeing your girl go ahead and replace my plug-ins very, very, very soon. As soon as these run out, I mean, they're still working right now, so I obviously do not want to waste them. That would be such a waste. Um, so I'm not going to do that right now. But very soon, I'm going to be replacing all of them. And I'm so excited because just one of them in my mom's home smells super strong. This is so embarrassing. But let me go ahead and show you guys all my new press on nails. I'm going to go ahead and link all the shops down below that I bought all of these nails from. Um, and then we're going to go bowling and then we're going to end off this video. But I'm having such a fun day. And now I see why I was waking up trying to be attacked this morning because I'm going out bowling. I'm having fun. I am having an amazing day. Okay, yes, ma'am. You guys are going to meet my little friend. I don't ever want to feel like I'm hiding anything from you guys. So obviously, I want to go ahead and introduce you guys to my friend let me screw in some of these lights so you guys can get a good glimpse of these nails you guys i'm so excited to share with them share them with you guys y'all i'm gonna link all of these down below i'm gonna go ahead and share these with you guys first because i have a little background story y'all look at these nails and she's known for making amazing custom nails i've looked at a lot of her custom sets i think that was my friend saying he's on the way yep he's leaving right now perfect okay so these are my nails, yes ma'am, and I'm gonna go ahead and link her shop down below. Hers will be the very first shop link down below when it comes down to the nails. I got this ombre set and I got this super cute purple and like bling set. Her stuff is made out of acrylic. I just ordered another set from her. Yesterday I was kind of upset, but like I told you guys, I'm trying to protect my piece. I'm not trying to be upset about everything so much, so... I bought a set from her and it said that it was out for delivery. Well, the next morning I looked on the Etsy shop or on my Etsy account and I seen that it was still out for delivery. So I clicked on it and then it said addressy unknown and my address was right. I've ordered from her before, obviously. My address on there was right. The USPS guy marked it as addressy unknown and he sent it back to her. So I kind of just told her like, hey, like I'll, I'm just kind of like wondering what's going on, blah, blah, blah. She was like, hey, I'm sorry, but like after, you know, my nails leave me, there's really nothing I can do. Like, I'm so sorry. I've never had anything like this happen. But once those nails leave me, I'm not in control of what they do. So I told her, hey, you know, okay, no biggie. You know, if they do send it back to you, I'll be willing to pay shipping. If not, I'll just take this L. Like, honestly, I just didn't want to let it make me upset. It wasn't her fault. It was totally out of her control. And I just kept hearing the Lord saying, this is a test. You know, you got to stay strong. You got to be faithful that I'm going to handle this. Even little stuff like this is going to annoy me. But I didn't let it annoy me. But then she hit me back up early this morning and was like, hey, she sent me a full paragraph and was like, oh my gosh, like, I've never had anything like this happen. I'm so sorry. I'm going to keep a lookout for your nails if they send if they send them back i'm gonna ship them right back out to you if they don't i'm just gonna send you another set so you're gonna get them either way and i literally almost broke down and start crying because i was just like thank you jesus so much and just how kind she was and i know her policy but i think she just kind of understood like this has never happened the address is correct you got them last time at that same address so thank you so much ariana or ariana i'm not really sure how to pronounce your name but i'm so grateful for you and then the next shop is actually going to be this dreamy nails box shop i'm going to go ahead and link her stuff down below i have her nails on today these are super cute i got these on her little website on her, on her little etsy website super cute they fit so good her designs are so cute i love this set so much so i got that set from her and honestly this set is cute it's not really my kind of shape but i wanted to go ahead and test out her shapes just to see how they do look you guys can't really see but they are outlined in white um some of them are but they're really cute they're just not really my kind of shape i don't really like um this kind of coffin shape i think it's just the white outlining that's making me think like that but her nails are so cute you guys oh my gosh i'm obsessed like i love these nails so much they look like me and I love them. And then last but not least, y'all know the very first press-ons I have ever ordered from Etsy were from Nails by Kelly. Like ever, ever. And her shop is the reason why I even order press-on nails. So I'm going to go ahead and link her shop down below as well. Y'all already know about her. I always get my little nails in square. I'm a square type of girl, y'all. I love my nails to be square. These are square. These are square. These are coffin, but these are square. I love square nails. They look right on my fingers. So these are...
are my next press-ons yes ma'am these are probably the cheapest ones out of all of them these were like $19 like they were so cheap her stuff is the cheapest I'm not gonna hold you guys and her stuff is very high quality so if you're looking for cheap free shipping fast shipping at that nails check out nails by kelly so yes ma'am i got me some super cute nails i am so excited about these dang nails and i'm so grateful to this um etsy shop right here for being so kind when she didn't even have to and it was totally out of her control i'm just so grateful you guys so anyway now i'm gonna go ahead and head to bowling i need to go ahead and put all this stuff away yes ma'am i'm about to go ahead and maybe get redressed i don't really know i might put on a different outfit with my new uggs and i'm gonna head out and we're gonna go bowling and we're gonna have some family time and we're gonna have fun yes ma'am i'm the first bowler they get it What's good? What's up, Cam? We just got here, hey, campaign. What up? <laughs> What's up? I'm the first one up, y'all. Here we go. You cutting that out? What's oh, good? <laughs> let's see, let's see, my boy, my boy. Let's see, you had a 12? You weak, you supposed to get a 6 like me. You know dang you can't handle that. Oh my gosh, watch him, watch him try to throw the ball. He's going to throw his whole body down the lane. That's too heavy for you. You said he's going to throw his whole body down the lane. He's going to be a slipper slide. Oh, good job. Oh, you did kind of decent. I should have zoomed in. You did kind of decent, Jordan. I got to get him to hold this thing. I don't know what I can do. That was garbage. She probably like, she my biggest hater. <laughs> Come on, B. Looking like a superstar. Woo wee. My boy. Oh. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Hey, look, the gutter need love, too. The gutter need love, too. Yeah. OK, that was good. OK, yeah. <laughs> the confidence. Hold on. All right, all right. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. No, you're supposed to get comfortable. Get comfortable. There you go. That's all right, Mama. It's okay. It's okay. You good. You good. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just being mean. I'm just being mean. All right. That was decent. That was decent. Oh, shoot. Oh, my boy. With the whole, what do you call it? A strike. That's what you call it. Let's get it. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was still good. He said, y'all better stop playing with me. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. All right. We're having fun. Oh, you're having fun. Okay. 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 Yeah, you got this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Go, man. Nice. There you go. Yeah. If you step over your rights a little bit, you can straight. It's not doing what I wanted to do. You got to step over a little bit. It's not doing it what I wanted to do. Let's get it, mama. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's embarrassing. It's greasy. It's something wrong. Something wrong with the ball, man. Wrong. I need to degrease these greasy balls over here. I don't know what they do. <laughs> something wrong. He said, y'all need these greasy balls over here. <laughs> We are. Right. It's possible. You Third round. Be ready. You yeah. sure you're going to make it? Oh, All yeah. right. You got this. You got this. No, I didn't got this. Ah. Ah. I'm not talking about it. No, no, no. Give me the front. Look at it. All right, this time I'm going through. We're going to make a strike. We're going to make it serious this time. We will win. It's all Amen. about victory. If Amen. We're not winning. It's just that simple. Exactly. Okay. Confidence. Okay. Confidence. Amen. 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 Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Exactly. All right, mama. All right, after mama goes, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera for a little while. Give it a break. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. This boy said he didn't know he had to zoom in when I was oh, bowling, okay. and it could have been a cinematic angle, Jordan. I didn't know how to zoom in. That's you didn't know how to zoom in? It's a little button right here, Jordan. I was supposed to see that. Wait, where are you touching? Wait, this side. Oh, oh. I was not about to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, you're doing really bad today. You usually do much better. Uh, are you nervous? I'm done. good. You're done. Actually, no, you're, yeah, you're good, but you're done. <laughs> you're done. Next time it's my turn when I go up, right? I gotta, I'm gonna do my little jig real quick. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, mm. <laughs> okay. You're done no, for. No, I, it's right. my turn. Oh, great. It slipped, guys. There's no it slips. Huh? There's no it slips. No, I'm garbage. I, I accept that. Look, I know I'm trash. Not like trash, but I'm trash at this. Ain't no trash this way. Let's go. Big boy time. Ah. Uh, Come on, Blasco. Y'all know that's blood. Come on now. Okay. All right. All right, Jordan. <laughs> okay, you're done. Come on, Jordan. Oh, yeah. I got it wrong. I don't know. Okay, you're Garbo. Hurry up. Okay. That was decent. That was decent. Yeah, my finger's messed up, too. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, his finger is messed up, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Let me see. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? You right? Who wouldn't? Like, flattery, make your eyes water. I mean, 
Hey, so I say some nice words to you. See, my just get out. It don't mean that. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if somebody's saying nice things to you, it's gonna make you feel good. Yeah. They wasn't being nasty. They wasn't being exactly. They wasn't being rude. Yeah. As long as they're not being sexual, I don't care. As long as you ain't being sexual, you good, bro. Don't be embarrassed. Who cares? Who gives a crap? I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what the problem. I'm gonna tell you what's not the problem. I'm gonna tell you what the thing is. You ain't no hoe, so you don't know how to do this. Never mind. Let's keep it moving. I'm just playing, mom. Oh, you know how to flirt. I'm just saying, my mom was really inexperienced with the dating thing. She never really did all that. So she don't even know how to say something back if somebody flirted. Saying the wrong thing is the worst thing. Yeah, saying the wrong thing. We the blew this mother truck up. I'm just playing. I got the Glock 25 on me right here. Oh my God. Don't make me pull out the nine, Connor. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. You strapped up? Yeah, you strapped up. Oh, hype. 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 Wait a minute! There you go. Oh, shoot! That might be some. Uh oh, it's trying to pull to the left. To the right it goes. There it is. Oh, that was good. That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. That was That was cheek. That was cheek. Oh, shoot! See, when you dance, see, when you dance, where? He knocked one. <laughs> There's not enough power. It wasn't enough power. Shut the heck up. Yeah, you did good, though. It's true. It's not true. But you did, you did your thing. I'm done. The alignment, I think you need to just dance. If you're not dancing. It's not I know. I need to start dancing. Exactly. It frees you up. Frees Every time I dance, exactly. I don't do that. I got to do it. Facts, facts. You can't just do something for no reason. I told you to hit the jig. No. You got to hit it all. You hit the jig. You got to do it. That was the jig? I did it then, yo. It was something. Oh, it was something. Let's go. There you go, Mo. There you go, Mo. Let's get it. There you go, 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 go. There you go, there you go. So it is now time for me to go ahead and end off this video. It is actually the next morning. That looks like a bald spot. What the heck? Whoa, but it's not. Okay. So yes, it is the next morning and I am ending the video right now. I really didn't do too much afterwards. Um, Jordan and I actually came back, did some Bible study, watched a sermon, did some prayer, and then we took my little brother out to eat with us. And then we just kind of were just like, hey, goodbye, you know, say our byes. Um, but yeah, that's my little friend or whatever. We like to make sure that we are putting Jesus Christ in everything that we do because we will not be good friends if we do not do that. And I noticed that like it's easy to try to separate your life with the friend than your life with God and it's like you need to incorporate him with each and everything that you do or your friendships will not work. So yes, I had an amazing time yesterday and now I see why I was being attacked first thing in the morning because they did not want me to have a good day. Anytime they are attacking you to not do something, anytime they are trying to make you not do something, there is something in it that they do not want you to have. And if they don't want you to have it, that means it's something good. So we're going to have it. I love you all. God bless you all in Jesus' name and it's time for you to go.